Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're back with the A10 build. Now we've been having a lot of fun with this build series. We've built it from absolutely nothing up to a really nice looking plane and also a nice flying plane. So in this video we're going to be adding on some air to surface missiles. They're going to be quite nice and compact. I'll show you guys how to get them set up, how to install them, how to fire them off one at a time. Uh, we're going to go and hit some targets that we've got out on the ocean. So <laughs> that'll be quite fun. Now, I've also got an update in terms of the cockpit. I've been working on my Lua controllers and been upgrading them for this plane. And we so far have got two of them in. I have got my map screen. So this is a fully customized version of my navigation display that has got 16 waypoints in it. So it works quite nicely. You can actually control it using uh, the pretty much using this one by one screen. It is really nice so you can see here we can zoom in we can zoom out we can go and put waypoints in it and all kinds of cool things along with that we also have a little artificial horizon at the moment it's a very basic one i've just got my speed altitude heading and then also my banking indicator we will be adding on some more features like when i activate my cannon this is actually going to change the reticle to a mode uh, we'll also for example if you select your bombs which will be underneath the plane it will change the reticle once again and then calculate the distance for you uh, so i've got quite a few things planned for these displays we still need to add in a radar i'm also thinking of adding a few other ones that i haven't told you guys just yet about but yeah slowly working on that obviously this Lua stuff takes a lot longer uh, to work on in comparison to building so in this episode as I said we're going to add on some missiles so let's get started with that also maybe do the landing gear today we'll see how we get on let's bring us into the workbench so the first thing is we've already got the hard points underneath our actual plane yeah we've got all these hard points here we've got four on this wing that can carry things four on the other wing and then in the center we've got three now my idea so far is going to be probably to put uh, three surface to air missiles on the left wing, another three on the right, and then in the center we'll probably do possibly a drop tank here or drop tanks on either of the wings, so one here and one there, and then in the center here maybe three small bombs. So that's what I've got in terms of armaments at the moment and my changes, we'll just have to see how we get on. So let's go and do the logic for the actual missiles. So the logic for them is already built in however we need some way to obviously go and fire them now when we fire them we don't want to fire all the missiles at the same time so we need to build some type of controller that can do it for us so we're going to start off by building a very small little controller uh, so let's go and do that and what we're going to have is we're going to have one input and that one input is going to be from our seat uh, telling us this for example if i press six uh, i want to go and fire a missile so we're going to have an input from our seat uh, along with that, we're then going to have a bunch of outputs that are going to go to our hard points. So at the moment, we're going to start with six hard points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll start with that. We can always change it or add more or remove them later on. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all going to be outputs. And I'll show you guys how you can actually set up this so you can fire one off at a time instead of just firing all of them, which we don't want, of course. So now that we have all of these on outputs and that one there, we can lastly now go actually this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need the last one. Cool. So now that we have all those, we can go onto our logic and come inside here. So we want to separate these out. I like to put them numbered. So we're going to do all that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our actual seat. And for example, number six, we're going to read that into a bool or into an on off signal. Make sure it's on channel six. And we're then going to send that into a toggle to push. That way we'll only receive one signal or one pulse when you press it. And then we're going to go into an up down counter. The up down counter is what we're going to measure to press these and fire these missiles. So we're going to add this into the up. We're going to come onto up down counter. We can leave it as is. And then we can go and add some threshold gates. So we can go and say, for example, if I press one, it puts this onto one and it fires this one. If I press it up to two and so on and so on, it will keep on firing these. So let's just add them in and then we'll do the settings. So we're gonna go up down counter to all the thresholds, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on each threshold, you do one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five, and six by six. So as you press six on your keyboard, it sends one pulse through and pushes this counter up one. Obviously, when it gets to one, it fires this missile. When it gets to two, it fires this missile, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. 
Okay, so that's a very basic way of setting it up. Once we've gone and done that, we can now go in and we can set up some more logic. Okay, so we can go across, grab our seat, put in there. Let's go on our seat and say six is a push and it's to fire missile. We then connect all of our hard points. So for example, let's start with one on this wing. So fire or launch. Let's go and grab two. Make sure we have electricity, of course, on all of that. So we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Great. Last thing you have to do is add the missiles. Now, I've already got some very compact missiles over on the workshop that you guys can go and add onto the build. It's got everything in it. All it needs is a fire signal. So you can see I've got it here. I'm just going to delete all the extra pieces that I actually don't need anymore. So let's just go and delete all of this. And we're just going to grab the missile and we're going to stick that underneath our plane. Now, of course, we do have new missiles parts coming very soon. We've heard that from developers in the last week's announcement and also in the Q&A video uh, where they've spoken about adding new pieces for these missiles. So I think it's going to be really cool to see what we get. And they apparently will be extremely more accurate. Now, before we actually go and test that out, I would maybe like to add a option for my landing gear. So for the landing gear, what we're going to do is we're going to have a switch box. Now, you can build this into a controller. It's up to you. Uh, I mean, let's go and use a controller. Why not? So we're going to grab a one by one controller, keep everything nice and compact. We are going to control our landing gear using a threshold gate and also an alt sensor. So if it detects that we are close to the ground, actually, we'll use a distance sensor. If we're close to the ground, the landing gear is deployed. If we're not close to the ground, landing gear will automatically go and retract. So for properties, let's go and do one, two, three. We'll then go and grab maybe a distance sensor in and then we can go and put two number outs so number out this will be front landing gear and another number out which will be our rear landing gear okay very simple go into the logic separate this out like we usually do we're going to say threshold gate if our distance is above let's say 20 meters all right let's do maybe let's do a little more 50 meters if it's about 50 and nine 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 then we want you to put our landing gear up so one and two there there this one can be the front landing gear this one can be the rear landing gear and then all we need to go and do is just see what direction it needs to point in so you can see this one needs to go let's see was that positive to close no negative to close the front one and the rear ones are negative two perfect so all we need to do now is back onto our controller grab a number and we're going to go and say that needs to be a negative one so that when we go and press it it goes and closes both of them so on and on perfect there we go you don't need to put the off you can leave the off as it is spawn it in update it and then uh we just need a distance sensor so let's grab a distance sensor put it somewhere underneath our plane i mean for now guys i'm going to leave it in yellow Put it over here i will move this at a later point like i've been doing but for now just so us we can test this uh, i would like to leave it there grab the distance sensor put it on our controller connect our controller La rear landing gear over there rear landing gear over there and we can do the same for the front and i also like to change the speed of how these close so i'll probably put it down to about 0.3 probably somewhere around there we also will add flaps at some point, so they will close the landing gear or close the, the hatches of them, and I think that'll be fine. Cool, let's go spawn that in, and let's go and see how this is gonna work. So we're gonna test the missiles and the landing gear now. Let's go and take off here. Okay, up in the air, fantastic. Uh, let's get our roll stabilizer on, which is three, and I think there is some boats off to the left here. I could be wrong, let's just go and check. So we're going to take off. How's our landing gear? Oh, look at that. Landing gear is folded away quite nicely. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm quite happy with that, actually. Uh, cool, let's just go back to flying this thing. Uh, let's go and turn around. Uh, let's go and head in that general direction. And we'll test these missiles out and see how well they work. So I'm going to head off in this direction. Try and get a little bit of altitude now. And I think the plane is just past the bridge or the boat. Yep, I can see just in the bottom left of my screen. Uh, you can see down there, there's a boat that we're going to be shooting today. And let's go and start pressing ourselves in, flying in that general direction, straightening out a bit. Make sure I've got my roll stabilizer on, I do. Uh, we're gonna fire a few missiles off, so I'm gonna get two, which is hold that. 
Now we can fire, so six. There goes one. Oh, that's very nice. That was very nice. I'm very happy with that. Uh, it can maybe be tweaked a little bit, so we can possibly tweak that. But I mean, that worked extremely well for my first attempt here. I mean, let's go and do another little pass. So we'll just roll ourselves across here, we'll go to the right, and then we'll bank heavy left and do in for another pass. Turn here, you can see the boat just down there in the distance. We can try and fire a few off from quite far away and see how well that does too. Uh, let's get our roll stabilizer back on, which is three. Let's go and angle towards the boat. And let's fire one missile off right now. So that is six. There it goes. Come on. Are you going to hit a target? No, that was a little bit too far away. Let's try another one. Six. There it goes. Oh, nice. Another one. Nice. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Wait, I'm right here. What can I, can I try this? Oh my, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, I think I hit something. I think I hit something. Did I hit something? No, I'm good. I thought uh, I thought I hit something, but my landing gear is all freaked out. I don't know what happened with my landing gear. Oh well, let's go and fly this thing. So that works actually really well. Do we have any missiles? We still have one missile, two missiles left. Okay, let's go in and let's drop a few more missiles off at this thing and see if we can go and get a few more hits. So angle it off. Uh, let's fire one, six. Fire another one, six. That's it actually. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice and clean. I'm happy with that. We still have our cannon. So we could actually do another pass and use the cannon. Gonna angle ourselves over there. Let's level out two at the same time. And we'll get some shots down range of this thing. Let's put rounds after rounds after rounds inside that thing. Oh, nice. And lift up. That thing must be sinking. Oh, wow, did we... Oh, there must be some nuclear things on that plane. or oh, sorry, on that boat, because... Did you see how we started to go grey as soon as we flew near it? So there must be some nuclear engines or something inside that uh, inside that boat. That's why we've gone all grey. Interesting, but it definitely is sinking. Um, that worked really well, and our landing gear has somehow fixed itself again. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but... Uh, that is really good. Let's do a little a couple of flips here. Let's see how well this thing works. Oh man, that's good. All right, let's bring this back into the workbench. And I mean, let's go and possibly add some pylons and some bombs on here next. All right, so we're back in the workbench. Uh, let's go and add on some pylons. So let's see what we can possibly get done with this. So we do need another hard point and we do need some connectors and things. So let's go and build. Let's build them on the, on the wings. Let's put two pylons on either side. We are going to need some way of getting the fuel in. So let me just fix all this paintwork that I had there. And maybe we can use there and bring it into the wing there. And that brings us directly in here. And I mean, yeah, that's perfect. We can just go directly there and maybe across there. Cool. All right. So we have just gone and added on both of these fuel pylons on. They should be 100% working now, which is fantastic. Um, I've also added in some fuel to them, so they do spawn with fuel, so that's good. And I mean, the only thing left really is to add the bombs on. So now the bombs I'm going to do just like really small, tiny bombs. They're not going to be anything big. So for the bombs, we are going to once again grab a hard point, a small piece one. We're going to add one in here facing upwards like that. And I'm just going to copy and paste it in a few seconds. Uh, so let's go and grab our warheads so where are the warheads now they're over here so we're going to use let's use some small ones so one and two and then at the front we can add a warhead body front there nice and then i mean at the back we could add something maybe another one of these like so we could also just do that i mean they're not meant to be large at all and you, for detailing, you could add them fins. They're completely unguided, unmanned bombs. They're just, just here as little things that we can go and drop on, <laughs> on vehicles or whatever else we want to drop it on. I mean, cool. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So once you've got that on, uh, if you wanted to really, you could paint this. So we could do a nice green color. 
maybe a yellow tip on it. There we go. Nice little bomb. All right, so let's go and try and take off now. So we should be able to go and take that. So let's go and increase that throttle up. Let's go and get the canopy closed. I mean, we are quite heavy in comparison to what we were. So it's going to be interesting to see how well we can take off. So I'm going to try and go a little bit to the left here. I want up to the left and then up, 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 up. Yep, that was fine. Okay, we're up in the air. Let's get our roll stabilizer on, which is three. Let's have a proper look at this. That looks very good. All those bombs and things underneath there. Very nice. All right. Uh, I mean, let's go. <laughs> While we're here, we might as well go and put some more missiles on that, on that boat or that ship out there. So let's go back to free person. Let's go and control this. Let's get our stabilizer off. Let's go and target that poor boat that might not even be there. We might have sunk it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? So let's go and have a look at that. No, it's still there. It is still down there. You can see it just over there. So let's go down. We'll fire a couple of missiles off at it. So that is six. One. Bye-bye. Two. Maybe a little far away. Yep, that one's good. Nice. Another one. Oh, very nice. Oh, he definitely got radiation there. Definitely radiation close to that boat. Man. That's so cool. Look at it out the window now we're going around it. <laughs> this is fun. Guys, I can't wait to release this on the workshop for you guys to play around with uh, and get the cockpit finished and just get it on the workshop because this is... I'm having so much fun with this plane. Uh, let's go and fire off the last, uh, what, two, three missiles. So we're going to go and do that. And go around again. Might get a little bit of altitude here now. Probably increase our speed too. Let's go and turn around. Go ankle down here. There we go. These missiles are only close range missiles. So let's go and six is fire. Is that gonna track? Didn't look like it did. Let's find another one. Are you gonna track? Yes you are. Another one? No, the last one has an issue with firing, which is fine. I don't know why the last one is not firing. Definitely radiation. But we'll have to figure that one out. But guys, that is <laughs> <laughs> so much fun uh we're gonna end it over there guys hopefully you have enjoyed it uh and enjoyed this video of adding in the missiles adding in the bombs adding in the drop tanks i need to get a bit more logic still and i still need to finish the canopy and the cockpit and things like that but uh hopefully you have enjoyed it if you have smash the like button hit the subscribe button and until the next one we will see you then